A vegan diet might sound restrictive, but it's easy to assume that's the case if you only consider the things that you can't have. Enter Northampton Vegan Fest. It's being held this weekend to help you explore precisely what a vegan lifestyle actually entails. Let's talk now to Adam Stansfield and to Natasha Caton. Uh, welcome to you both. Nice to see you. And, and when did you see the light, as it were, Natasha? Um, I had the, the magic light bulb about three years ago, actually, when I moved to Northampton. Uh, we ended up on uh, an acre of land and we got some expatriate chickens and they arrived and they looked like oven-ready chickens with heartbeats. And that evening we put them all to bed and we fed them and everything and I popped a roast chicken in the oven and I took it out of the oven and I couldn't eat it. And I realised then that the animal is has a soul and the animal is something that we I, I just couldn't eat anymore after that experience so yeah so that was the chickens and then also for health reasons as well after so, that I actually realized that my skin was improving so I suffer from a skin condition called rosacea and my skin started to improve so I cut out the dairy I cut out absolutely everything that comes from an animal and lo and behold my skin is now finally healing after so, such a long time. So it was a very stark conversion for you and, and, a, and a holistic thing at that as well. Yes, very much so. Uh, I never realised... Um, I never realised... I, I was an avid meat eater. I mm. loved my steak and my chips at one point in my world. And, yeah, ever since that day. So, yeah. And you've links, haven't you, to, to the Hope Centre here in Northampton? Yes, I do. Yes, so we've got a community farm based up in Moulton, which is a permaculture site and eco-sustainable. And we offer gardening, uh, rehabilitation and therapy towards the Hope Centre clients that actually come up. So they come up on a Monday or a Tuesday and be with us and we do one-to-ones with them. But I also work very closely with the Hope Centre uh, within the garden area, we've actually built a business around soaps and candles, which are all vegan. So they help us produce the flowers and the herbs that we put into the vegan soap and everything we sell. We give back a donation towards the Hope Centre as well. I mean, when you look at... We said this at the start, or at least I did, the notion that having a vegan diet, being on a vegan diet, a vegan diet is restrictive. Is it? No. It's non-restrictive at all. It's amazing, actually, that you can start to create things on a plate. You take the textures, you take the combinations, and you just play with it and just be very, very creative with it. It's never dull. It's never boring. Um, a little bit of planning every now and again, yes. Um, but, yeah, it, it's enough to go wild with it rather than your normal too two veg and a plate of meat on the side, so yes. When this extends, as it clearly does, Natasha, to other sorts of, of products, when we look at the things that you've mentioned and skincare, etc., is is it that the animal testing side of, of uh, some of it, is it that, that that pushed you to this? So, you know, you've, you've oh, clearly, I mean, you mentioned the, the chicken story, you've got a strong uh, belief in, in the rights of animals, I suppose. Yes, I'd prefer not to put anything on my body or in my body that has been actually an act of cruelty for animals. Uh, I tend to steer away from anything that has anything to do with animal testing and things as well because it's just not fair on the animals more than anything else. There's a lot of products out there that aren't animal tested and it all goes back, I feel, to to nature, to the connection with Mother Earth and what actually she produces. And it does have to. It doesn't have to be chemically uh, tested or chemically induced with absolutely anything. You know, there's plants out there that you eat. There's natural things that you can put on the skin, from coconut oil to pure shea butter, and things, and also inside the body as well. So, yeah. And just how much of a, a struggle is if you're looking to go over to be, you know, to to veganism? How much of a, a battle is it to? to find products in, you know, a good spread, a widespread of shops? Vegan items are becoming more and more readily available now, um, especially uh, things like the makeup side of things, the beauty products, the shoes, the clothes you wear as well. So 
Google is is a world of amazingness who who has absolutely everything and all the information as well. So yeah, it's coming more and more ready available. People are much more aware. People are much more caring about what they do with their own body, as well as what they do around the animal side of things as well. Uh, and I suppose it must be quite difficult to uh, to get those kind of products noticed because there's so much of a marketing noise around the kind of bog standard makeup, you know, the high street products, all the big brand names that we know, etc. So it, this is vegan uh, products, probably more of a word of mouth thing. Is that is that a fair thing to say? Um, that's half of it, yes. Yeah. And it's also a choice for people. If you were to actually go out there and have a look for things, you would find things very easily now. What about the Vegan Fest? Of course, we mentioned it this weekend. What role are you both playing in that? On Saturday, I'm actually having two stalls, one for the vegan soaps and candles and soy candles. That will be on one side. And then I'm doing a demonstration of vegan sushi for about 15, 20 minutes. And then the other stall will be for the loving chef. Um, So that's promoting raw, healthy cakes, obviously sushi, a few salads and things and just to really show people and let people taste a different variety of of vegan items that are actually out there to eat and also to put on the skin as well and to use so yeah I'm looking forward to it there are many different stores that I haven't seen before so I'm quite excited about actually going around myself as well you obviously both feel very good on the on on veganism you know it's made a difference to you Oh yes, a lot of difference. Yeah, I have a lot more energy. I can get up in the morning and instead of rolling out of bed and grabbing for the first cup of coffee and the bacon sandwich or whatever it was, um, I'm up, I'm out, full of energy. Um, yeah, sometimes it's hard just to sit down and do nothing, actually. <laughs> so yeah, vegan, vegan food is particularly serves me well. Yeah, or just to sit down and talk to radio programmes. Yeah. <laughs> Nosy radio programmes. <laughs> 